welcome to the RP Show. Episode number five. With me, Steve Johnson. And me, the Two Be Like Maniac. So, Mike, what have we got this week? Well, this week we have some RP hacks. Oh, interesting. Good little top tips. Going to cover some uh, good ground today. So, the first hack I wanted to share with you, Mike, is what I call the beer elbow. Really, really simply, all you do is every time you put your drink or your beer on the table, you lead with the elbow. So you put your elbow on the edge of the table, then place your drink down, go about your business. When it's time to reacquire your drink, you just put your elbow down first, extend your arm, and it will naturally find your beer. And you can just pick it up without firing the glass across the table or knocking your beer bottle over. That's a good one. We all knock things over. So that's a that's brilliant. I got one. It is, I would call RP Tai Chi. RP Tai Chi to make you more flexible in case you fall over. You can bounce better. I don't know. That, that, that could help. That could help. But yeah, no, I'm saying RP Tai Chi, basically like if you're walking around uh, to prevent yourself from kind of like hitting cabinets and things that might be around, you kind of always sporadically have your hand out. If you go to bend down to get something that you dropped instead of just swinging it really quick and perhaps smacking your head into something always have your hand out and kind of go down with it you know this way you're kind of clearing making sure this it's safe and you know so it's always like kind of a little left oh it's all good everything is safe here yeah i call it rp tai chi <laughs> okay mike this is possibly my personal favorite um it is getting in the handshake first you know like we talked on the last episode about them social gestures people come to fist bump you people try and shake your hand so getting the handshake in first is absolutely a great game changer because you don't want that awkward moment you know when somebody's going to shake your hand and you haven't noticed and you just leave them hanging oh no yeah, yeah. we've all been there for that one uh i've been doing this honestly since i was diagnosed when i couldn't see at night so if someone was saying goodbye to me at night I just would always naturally just go right in for that handshake because if I knew it was somebody new that I met, they were probably going to want to shake my hand and this way I would avoid that awkwardness. So, yep. Yeah. So general, general rule of thumb is walk around doing Tai Chi with one hand and shaking and fist bumping everyone with the other hand. and you Just kind of moving. Just keep just moving. Holding. Yeah. Keep moving. Like, things. Ah, I really like, like that yeah. guy. <laughs> <laughs> and how about labeling all your stuff with bright you know, colored tape or uh, putting the buttons on the keyboard or, you know, other, just making things that you usually have problems with more visible, you know, like the remotes, we always have a trouble with those. So I put a piece oh, of so tape not on so it. Much, so not not so much labeling, you mean like marking them up? So you can Yeah, kind of, yeah, just mark, yeah, right. Yeah, just kind of marking them up. You got any examples of any good ones you've done? Uh, yeah, like I said, I always, I can't find the stupid black remotes because they have to make every remote black and Unfortunately, all my furniture is black. So it's like, shh, where is the remote? So yeah, I just have a simple piece of orange gaffer tape, little just bright neon orange on top of the remote. Um, sometimes down in my gym, I tend to walk into things in my gym here. So I'll just put like bright yellow or bright tape around like, you know, the bars and things like that, just to kind of catch my eye. And then uh, I had issues working. Uh, I like to work on cars. So I have a workbench and my workbench was like dark colored. So everything was like, I couldn't see my tools and things because it was really not of contrast. So I painted the uh, workbench like a light blue. And now I can see everything that's on it is dark. So now it looks so much better and I can work much faster now. So what about you? Yeah, similar to you, like my uh, my barbell and the weights, um, I've got like green stripes painted on some of them. So they really pop and stick out against the, against the ground. Um, and I've also got a lot of those. Have you seen those little um accessibility things you can buy they're like the little orange oh the little button things, the little buttons, yeah my mom uses those yeah the little I got, yeah i got some of them on the microwave and on the stereo system there's like about 12 buttons and only two that i need to use so those two have got the orange button oh, okay. on it, so I can dead easily find it straight away even in the total darkness really good another one i've got for you mike this is um only a dead quick simple one but when you go into like a restaurant and it's really really dark and you pick up the knife and fork if you just run the knife along the fork, you can tell whether you've got the front or the back of the knife. 
just takes split second and straight away you can find the, serrat the serrated edge of the blade. Really handy little tip that I use all the time when I'm, when I'm dining out. In. If you're in a fancy place where you get different knives, like a butter knife and some other ones where they're maybe not as sharp, it's handy to find the one that's serrated as well. So if you're like a, you know, in a steak place or something, you can just oh, okay. yep. straight away find the sharp knife. Well, I'm going to follow you on that one, on the just a little easy, you know, quick one. Uh, put your shirt on. And you want to know what's just the front and the back. There's a little tag. Usually on most shirts, it's always on the lower left on the in the shirt there. And it's always there on the left side. So you know that. Oh, I got it. Yeah, the little, the the little laundry label. Yeah, the little laundry label. Yeah. The, yeah. So you, you grab that, you're good. So just a little, you know, using your uh, other senses to kind of help uh, find, you know, the direction of clothing. <laughs> using the camera on your phone as like artificial eyesight so if you are somewhere and it's gone a little bit dark and maybe you haven't got your cane with you you just open up your camera on your phone and look through the screen through the camera and um, generally cameras have a really good iso setting so they let in a lot more light and generally you can see even in really low light through the camera like really really well you can even zoom in on things as you're walking great little technique great little tip Oh yeah, especially because I used to work out at night sometimes in my uh, little driveway there, like uh, when I was in an apartment. And I'm that's actually where I discovered that one time I put my camera on. And I was like, oh my god! I'm like, is this what like night vision is? Is this yeah, what is normal, normal people person? see? <laughs> yeah, I, we could do with asking actually a normal person like holding up a camera and saying, is that how it looks to you? Because that is not how it looks to me. <laughs> I don't read a lot, but I will say I recommend audiobooks. That's a really good one. I, I, I didn't used to read much before when I could read. Now I can. I probably read more because I listen to audiobooks all the time if I'm doing chores around the house, especially when I'm on a long, like, two-hour run on the treadmill. Mm -hmm. I love a good yeah. book to listen to. Really good. Yeah, great. That's a great one. It's like somebody reading you a bedtime story. <laughs> I find it's like cheating. You can do two things at once. Like, because if you actually read a book like a sighted person, you've got to stop everything you're doing, sit down, and read that's it that's your whole Whereas, you know I, I could paint a fence and read a book simultaneously without sight which is just brilliant so the next one is dark mode this is if you've got rp this has got to be one of the most game-changing tips um, you can do it on certain browsers most phones have got a dark mode setting some tvs have got dark modes some laptops have got dark modes basically search through all of your devices and put everything into dark mode it's a lot easier on the eye, a lot less fatigue, and it does make it easier to read and see stuff with whatever little vision you've got left. That's just a brilliant one for me. Turn on audio descriptions. Hey, have you ever have you ever done that on Netflix? It's hilarious. I have not. I can only imagine what could possibly. What have you have any uh, instances that have happened to you? Yeah. So I, I put the audio description on Netflix, particularly these action scenes where you know it's like dark or whatever. But if there is a um, a scene of romance, shall we say, the mm. way the audio description works is normally hilarious. So it'll be like Mike Tubiak is frosting vigorously, and it's just it's just absolutely <laughs> ruins the movie. To be honest. Oh <laughs> yeah, hilarious. I can <laughs> <laughs> it's like hilarious but as you get rp and as your eyes get worse it's hard to follow some of the fast and dark action scenes so it is quite handy having you know somebody who's sat there and thought about the most effective way to explain to you what's going on and uh, some people you know don't need them some people do but it's just handy to get familiarized with them now while well this way you don't have to be the uh, person going what just happened yeah what was that it's handy to uh, <laughs> just to learn how to toggle it on and off, just having that in your in your toolkit, so you know, you know, as your eyes get. Oh worse, yeah, definitely. No. Yeah, a bit more used to it. It's handy, handy little tip that one. Like it. Another good little tip for people with RP, especially with the old night blindness kicking in, usually first, is always to have a little torch, you know, a little pocket one or a key ring one. Um, obviously, some people have got them on smartphones, but not everybody. So if you have a little torch, uh, and then one tip that always comes up, a lot of people say, is just have with you. A headlamp that you can take out maybe keep it in your jacket if you go out late at night walking the dog or whatever headlamps brilliant um i use them quite a lot when we go camping it's always dark when you go to the toilets or the bathrooms oh so, you know just you know really good i think the game i saw that that changed the game for me when i saw 
I met this guy, John, uh, uh, was it John Romeo? No, John, Jason, I'm sorry, Jason Romeo. Or, yeah, he's uh, like this, he's uh, the first visually impaired guy to actually walk, like uh, run, sorry, run across the United States. And when I met him at one of our functions, he was wearing one the whole time. And I was just like, you know, why, you know, why do you always wear that? And he was like, it's just, he's like, it just, it helps so much. And I'm like, I'm like, I never thought about like wearing one on more of a normal basis like that. Just while you're out going some places and things like that. And just always just having it on you. So I think that was a, definitely a game changer. So headlamp. So that's it for this week, folks. Um, before we go, Mike and I would just like to say, a really big thank you for all of the comments. We do try our best to respond to every single comment and read them all. Bear in mind, we are both legally blind. So it's not the easiest of tasks, but thanks all the same. <laughs> and uh, thank you for all your feedback and for everyone that's contributed to the last episode and for this one, for everyone that contributed towards all of your hacks. And I'd also like to thank everyone so far that's subscribed to the channel. We, uh, we set an initial goal uh, of over 100 subscribers and we're there. So uh, that's just, you know, goal number one, and we want to keep going. So thank you so much for subscribing. And, and, we, just, and we just started. <laughs> so that's yeah, not bad. Month one, month one done. Month one done. Next week, we're going to show you some iPhone tricks that most of you will not know.